not standing in any of those orbs, or those orbs, or that wave, or those orbs. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 7 of my Path of Exile playthrough. Today we're going to go take a look at the Lord's Labyrinth. But first, I have a new little friend here that wants to say hello. His name's Harold. You'll get used to seeing him. I went around and did some changes to my gear. According to you guys in the comments, I needed to work a little bit on my elemental resistances and get those up towards the cap before we get into Act 5. So I went ahead and did that. I also re-rolled some gear, got some different perks, and picked up some more health. Currently looking to get a four socket chest piece. That way I can get another support gem in here for my ground slam ability. Alright, let's go check out what this labyrinth thing's all about. labyrinth activation device okay okay so there are gonna be multiple labyrinths i guess once i hit higher levels all right well we got one choice here so we'll do that one <laughs> makes that easy now if i'm not mistaken i think this is actually how i get access to ascendancy so i'll be able to choose like a new path i guess and unlock a new skill tree more passives yeah <laughs> so oh yeah you'll also notice i did get a uh, different loot filter Thank you guys for all the recommendations in the comments. Uh, it's definitely becoming a nightmare because the other one I had was not filtering hardly anything out. So I appreciate it. So we like one to two shot every... I think we're over leveling this area probably. So it doesn't seem all that difficult yet. Now I'm just going to have to learn like what the loot filter makes things look like again. It does seem to be filtering out a lot more stuff. So that's good. I'm interested to see like which options I have. I know I've seen people talk about juggernaut a lot so i might look into that one and then we'll see what the other ones have to offer because i'm not even sure what they all are i know there's what chieftain is in there too Ooh, viridian jewel uh, okay so this is another one of those jewels that i can put into my passive tree i haven't unlocked any of those spots yet but i might have to at some point if we get a good one that looks like a fancy chest we're gonna have to open that one. Ooh, is that the unique is that unique so what it looks like on this filter i think so Okay. So loot is definitely a little bit better in here. Or my luck is just insane. That's a four slot chest piece. They're not all connected though. What is this? Oh, okay, no. Well, it might be unique, but this is for the uh is this for trial of the ancestors, I think. Oh. That's a four slot axe or f yeah, four what is it called? For uh, Link. I'll have to look at that. I might have to do some work with that and upgrading and crafting on it, but it could be pretty good. The one I have right now is cur or, uh, corrupted, so I can't even do anything to it, even if I wanted to. Take more physical damage with two-handed weapons. It's 30%. That's always nice, too. Okay, so that was the world. This is another doorway over there, but I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Another faster attack support. Oh, so this is the common axe. Well, we might... The damage is a little bit lower for right now, but we'll see. We might be able to do something with it. Okay, so the border with this loot filter seems like it's anything that's got everything linked is going to have the color border. And then the color is probably going to depend on the color of the socket. I, I want to see if I have any good... Um, what are those essences? Is that what they're called? Yeah, essences and see if there's anything good I can put on a weapon. Crafting recipe. All resistances. Okay. We're just going to put all of the stuff in our stash so we have room for it later. So this took me to a storage area. Am I supposed to do something in here or is this just... Ah, there it is. Okay. I was going to say it's weird that it gave me a prompt and then just kept me there. Is an illusion. Okay. Um. Not standing in any of those orbs, or those orbs, or that wave, or those orbs. Okay. <laughs> Glad I've got some mobility, because there's a lot of stuff to watch out for. Your ambition, time is not to be wasted. 
He's just gonna run away like that? And we just let him? So I'm assuming we probably will fight him again. We are at the Forgotten Reliquary. And a dead end. Okay. Hmm. Is this like a, a puzzle? Oh, another two-handed axe. These aren't all bound or all uh, chained together, though. Okay, so I need to get all of these to be open. That's it. Okay, so everything that's next to the one you click changes. I've never been good at these puzzles. Hmm. This is gonna take me way longer than I would hope. There we go. Okay. First try, guys. <laughs> oh, that took me way too long to figure out. I hate those kinds of puzzles. I can never see them that many steps in advance. Treasure key. Oh, okay. So there's gonna be like treasure chests at the end that we can open. These chests worth... No, these ones aren't worth anything. Wait, did I... I didn't get anything... Oh, uh, they're all probably just low-quality stuff then. I'm just gonna gather them all up, and then we'll blow them up with one ability. Ah, I'm dumb. I can't do that. <laughs> I don't even have uh, enough souls. An orb of fusing reforges the links between socket. Oh, okay. So you could take like a three link item to a four. I don't know if there's a, like, should I be exploring the, all of these floors completely? I don't want to miss out on anything. Aspirin's trial. Oh, is, am I going to fight that guy again? Oh, this is just another like break level. Oh, this one's different. No, it's not. Never mind. Strike with fidelity. It. I mean, it. It is different, but it's also not like it. It just adds another mechanic. I actually wonder like how much damage this stuff does. Cause I think I'm out leveling it, so it probably wouldn't actually hurt that bad. I will say though, like the quality of loot in here has been a lot better than a lot of the open world stuff I've done. Especially like the currencies. I mean I've seen some stuff that I haven't even seen up until now. Hey, that's a free chromatic orb. Did we already see what that was? I don't even remember. Oh, we almost forgot that. Locked door. Okay, so we gotta find another way in there. Okay, those things slow you down real good. I don't even know what all these switches do. I'm just gonna assume I have to hit them. But it's still locked. Or did I miss one? Oh, I missed one over here. OK. 
Okay. Now the question is which ones did I have to hit again? They are. What does this do? What? Oh. Do I have to like take this thing to the end? Okay, I could, this is actually pretty cool. Like a escort the payload type thing. There we go, now it's unlocked. Okay, so the switches, I don't even know what they were for. I'm just, like, they probably would have like stopped this thing some point if I didn't stop or open them. All of that for a blacksmith's whetstone. I mean, it's, it's a cool concept, cool thing, little puzzle. I think that's where I came in at. Yep, definitely wasn't here yet. Another one of these floors, lava. Which leaping strike just kind of makes a joke. Oof, okay. That burn does a lot of damage, actually. So there's some cool traps in here that I haven't even seen before. Or transmutation. So I don't know if it's just not dropping anything on those ones, or if it's just because uh, the loot filter's filtering it out. Where are we at? Okay, so we are here, going up there. This guy's fast. Good thing I don't have to outrun him. What does that icon mean? I actually have no idea. That looks like the end coming up. That's another chromatic orb there. This, I don't know what these symbols mean on these things. Is that just rare? No, because these don't. The final showdown. Stay the course. What new mechanic does he have this time? Any? Oh. Receive your sentence. All right. That's uh, quite a bit of loot there too. A bunch of treasure keys. I wonder if we'll get anything good out of these chests that we're getting these keys to open. Uh, we should probably kill these guys real quick, too. Okay, now what else? Orb of Scouring removes all modifiers from an item. It's another chromatic orb there. Ooh, that's a five socket. Pretty cool. 
ascendancy chamber. Ooh, here's the chest. That, okay. Are these... Oh, that's empty. can't oh that's all so i didn't have enough to open all of them okay we did get a unique ring though our legendary i don't know what color what we're gonna identify that real quick we're gonna hold on to it well actually no because this is fire and cold this is cold and lightning and i think we have plenty of lightning already so probably don't need to worry about that We'll hold on to it, though, just in case. Because last time I got rid of one of these, you guys yelled at me. <laughs> Debate the altar. Is that this thing? Oh. Huh? Oh, I can enchant an item. Probably can't do this because it's corrupted. Oh, can it only do gloves? Is that what that little symbol means there? I'm confused. Why can I only do these gloves? These weren't even the gloves I was wearing. Oh, I didn't have it selected. I see. What does Word of Ire do? I guess we'll figure it out. Can you only do, like, one item? Yeah, okay. That's cool. No more keys. Ah, here's the Ascendancy. Okay. So we can choose between Juggernaut, Berserker, and Chieftain. So Chieftain... Kind of reminds me of like a druid, kind of. It's more of a nature-y thing. And then Berserker is exactly like it sounds. So this seems to give a lot of like health. I'm seeing a lot of endurance, life regen, armor. So maybe for our first playthrough, this would be good. Just gives us more survivability, so I'm not going to be dying all the time. Maybe we go with this. I think, yeah, we're going to go with Juggernaut for now. What divides the conqueror from the conquered? Perseverance. All right. Ascend. Uh, okay, so it's like a, it's a really small tree for ascendancy, it looks like. Attack, speed, and armor, armor and movement speed, armor and stun threshold, or armor and regen. Or endurance charge. We don't have any endurance charges, really, for this one. Um, let's see. We can do... Let's do attack speed and armor. Then we can get some accuracy here. Yeah, we're going to go for that, I think. And then we got a regular skill point. Oh, we get two points here. Why is this still saying? Oh, I have one regular point. Okay, where do we want to go down here, though? Oh, okay, so these are the jewel sockets that I have those things for. I think maybe we work our way up here. Because then we can get some crit. Well, I think we have enough accuracy now that we chose that pass. I don't think we need to worry about them being evaded. So we could go into the axe tree, since we're still using axes. Or we can go up into critical strike. Alright, we're going to go into axe for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Path of Exile playthrough. If you did and you haven't caught the first episode, make sure to click that one right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.